ShireSociety.com. People are always saying there are too many cryptocurrencies out there, and they're right. However, I think there's still room for somebody to invent one that does something no one else is doing. In fact, I can think of four. Four that, I mean, I haven't heard of anyone doing this yet. And uh, the first option is what I call a real stable coin. People always assume that a stable coin is just something that's, that's uh, tethered to the dollar. I'm glad there is such a thing, but it's not actually technically a full-blown long-term stable coin because we don't know what's going to happen to the dollar over the next 10 years. If it follows historical trends, uh, the, the historical trends uh, of the, that preceded it of, of uh, how crypto or how uh, fiat currencies behave, then it will crash at some point in the next 10 years. Some folks have said that it, you know, they've indicated it already has crashed. If you think about it, it has crashed against cryptocurrency over the last 10 years. But but anyway, one way to get around you know the idea that there might be a problem with the dollar would be to peg the have a cryptocurrency that is pegged to a series of different assets. Uh, a basket of assets. The Swiss franc, gold, maybe one other metal that's not normally held uh, like palladium or indium, one or two cryptocurrencies, maybe a, an important one and a less important one. Maybe all things that could be housed uh, by the company creating this stable token. Or maybe not. Maybe you could have uh, you could have it backed by acres of land or crude oil or something like that. The point is it should be diversified. Not just pegged to the dollar, not just pegged to gold. Because even gold is not very stable during periods of turmoil. Another type of crypto that would be nice is what I call a Jane coin. So the last, the last one we should probably call it super stable coin, <laughs> and uh, and this other one we could call it Jane coin, uh, named after Orson Scott's car, Orson Scott Card's character Jane, who was an AI. So I, I've always thought that, or at least I've come to think that it, the the question of artificial intelligence and the question of cryptocurrency should meet. Possibly one of the best ways to get a benign AI is to have it developed by the cryptocurrency community. We've seen how benign the most of the cryptocurrencies have been so far. Contrary to the government's propaganda, they've been pretty benign. That's because they're well, to some extent, decentralized, and the more decentralized they are, the more benign they seem to be. A cryptocurrency project, a uh, crypto coin, which backs the attempt to build a decentralized, friendly AI, that would be useful. Now, and there may have been some things along these lines that are, that are going on that I don't know about, or maybe Gollum is sort of doing that. I, I, guess, I guess they're doing a supercomputer. That's not the same thing as artificial intelligence, necessarily. The thing people forget, you know, they say, well, you know, how would having a coin help make the AI? Well, people forget that the, the, the beauty of cryptocurrency is that you you can make a coin that doesn't necessarily have that much of a use case. It's not a currency. It's not a, a DAP, you know, a decentralized app token. But what it can do is it can make it easy for people to invest in a project. That, that's also the problem, I guess, because it's, it's, you know, ICOs have, are sometimes abused. But, you know, in the old days, it was very difficult to make a project and have people invest in it. Now you can just say, well, I'm doing something, and this is the coin you buy if you want to invest in our project. And it's very easy to buy. It should be very easy to buy. Friction is bad for an economy. I wish there were a coin I could invest in that backs a cryptocurrency AI project, because God help us if the military develops AI before the crypto community does. How many people have they killed compared to us? Third idea, a grid coin that's easy to do. I, uh, uh, there's a coin called Gridcoin, which does something which is just fantastic, and hardly seems like hardly anyone else is doing it. I don't know of anyone else that is doing it at all, actually. And, and it's what they call a proof of research coin. So you and I've used it a little bit. I I've tried to mine some. It's the only thing I've ever tried to mine. 
if mining is even the right word. It's based kind of on the concept of the old SETI projects and the uh, some of the old astronomical projects in the 90s where they would uh, farm out uh, jobs to local computers run by average people and your computer would do some work you know to examine a signal from a star or something like that to see if it uh, it uh, had hallmarks of being alien in origin ET in origin I think that was what it was used for it may have been something else astronomical but it was a great idea I had I had friends in the 90s that used to, to, to farm out their computers or loan out their computers while they were at work but more recently it's become a little bit more developed with this thing called grid coin which is a completely underrated one cent coin uh, it's worth one cent right now I guess and what it happened when I tried to use it was I, I would I would farm out my computer and it would calculate asteroid rotations and orbits and stuff like that or you could set it to look at molecules or DNA sequences or whatever and that part worked pretty well it did do the research and everything but I was never the problem with grid coins at, at that time at least in early 2017 it was all sort of you had to have like multiple pieces of software working and I couldn't get them all to do what they were supposed to do or recognize that I had earned any coins and I just gave up at that point it was just too complicated but something like that which works would be really nice it's something that's not complicated uh, grid coin may be less complicated now I'll, I'll check back into it at some point I guess Richard Hart was looking into making a thing called CFD token, which would have been a proof, sounded like a proof of research token. It sounds like he's, at least for now, given up on that or postponed it because it was too complicated. Maybe that's why such a coin hasn't been made, but, you know, why should something have to be backed by uh, pollution, essentially? Bitcoin is backed by electricity, which is creating pollution. It's not really doing anything ex that, that electricity was expended only for the purpose of creating the Bitcoin there's no uh, additional intrinsic value beyond the, the, the scarcity and the portability uh, provided by its massive network what if that you know what if a, a coin were I mean like every grid coin is backed by I uh, you know I don't know how much research your, your laptop has to put into making one grid coin worth of research but it's probably I think it's fairly significant it just feels good. It really felt good doing that research. Somebody needs to really take this idea and bring it into the uh, into the light, or just improve Gridcoin, which is a currency that was developed in 2013. Even listing Gridcoin on exchanges would be a big start, or maybe I should say it actually is already listed on exchanges. But you know, just having it maybe available on Exodus or something like that would be nice. Exodus Wallet. Finally, when you look at the problems that are going on with Bitcoin, um, it seems like most of them have something to do with someone having the ability to change the rules. So somebody once told me that that was what he liked, or that was what he was impressed the most about, you know, impressed him the most about Bitcoin, was that they never changed the rules. Well, that's really not the case anymore. They, it seems like they are changing the rules. Bitcoin got as far as it did, or is still going as far as it's going to go, partly because uh, no one knows exactly who the creator was or if he's alive. It was difficult for the authorities to sort of lean on Bitcoin, right? But it wasn't impossible. It seems like they have done it to some extent. Bitcoin has sort of been mainstreamed and changed. So maybe there is a currency out there already that is is anonymous like no one knows who created it and there's no head to chop off and it can't be changed now is such a currency out there right now one that really is fire and forget you know, bitcoin is a little bit fire and forget but it wasn't fire and forget enough what if there were a coin that simply couldn't be changed by developers or uh, in, anything like that all, all the ones I know of just don't fit that category. Maybe you know of one. It needs to be as unchangeable and as unchangeable as gold with no one in charge to the same extent that gold has no one in charge. At least I tend to think that. Maybe I'm wrong. You got to be careful what you wish for. But anyway, I think those are the four kinds of coins I wish for. What do you wish for? The old world is collapsing. And it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, 
the Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum, and a history of action. It didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at ShireSociety.com.